Mr. Atkinson. Want to drink, Jimbo? Oh, uh, do you want a drink, sir? A uh, cola, please. Finest cola I've ever seen, sir. Uh, do you cater for many people? Yes, I um, cater for Robin Abramovich. The chips all over the place. How are the chicken fillets? Sorry, hot. Well, you can sell. Buy. The kids. Oh, thy son and daughter, you mean? Yes. Uh, there's Karen, Edith, Beatrice, and Ermintrude. Oh. Yes, that, that's f they're fine, all five of them. Yes, you're not. So, did you ca solve the case of the polygamist? The man with the four wives? Yes, it was the one that had... Stop building. That sounds like a success to me. Yes, all five of Interesting story next time you go on a cruise, boy. Well, next time you're at sea, there's an interesting thing to remember. When you're at sea and you're stranded on a sinking vessel, the thing to remember. Once you put on your May West, which is the technical term for a life jacket, you understand. The thing to remember is to hold your arms in a position like this. One, as you see, the left arm strapped around your waist and your right arm holding your jaw. Now, there are two reasons for this. One, so that you have somewhere to put your arms, so that when you jump into the sea, your arms aren't dislocated when they hit the water. And the other reason is, once you jump into the sea, the force that you hit the top of the sea the technical term has escaped me, you understand. The reason you do this is the life jacket, once it hits the top of the sea, the surface, that's the one, the surface of the sea, the li life jacket will lift up at her horrendous rate. And often, and I've seen this more times than I've cared to know, the life jacket hits yon fella's jaw, and breaks it into six places. This can kill a man instantly. By holding your left arm round your waist and your right arm on your face, you can prevent this happening. But if you do all that and you survive, you're going to die anyway because You'll death within 30 seconds, <laughs> and your heart will freeze solid, and you'll die and float to David Jones' locker. Just about that was something you might want to know, you understand? Yeah, really interesting story. I say this line. Yeah, the left paragraph. Okay. Three, two.
two, one. Well, sir, Miss Electra has the most beautiful behind. Don't make them like that anymore. I is she um, gonna go soon? I I'd expect so. If you want to dance, you'd better go now. She's over by the chair. Miss Electra? Just wait a minute. Sir, your hat! Oh. What do you do that? What a beautiful view you have. Figures relevant to the circumstances, bearing in mind other dancers on the floor. Everybody, of course, makes the same. Yes, I managed to get one in Spain. <laughs> I'm sorry to trouble you, sir, but uh, do you know where Mr. James Atkinson is? I certainly do. He's up belly dancing with that big busted lady over there. Oh, is he in any trouble? I'll say so, sir. The blighter hasn't paid his bill for his drinks. Somebody needs to get him. Don't worry, sir. I'll apprehend that young son of a gun under my trusty crook. <laughs> I think I'll leave the trusty crook. <laughs> Practice makes perfect, and we are sure to soon enjoy dance. Oh! You, the other security guard, do something. Apprehend that man. Yes, sir, Mr. B. Grime. Yes, sir. Who are the wonderful foxtrot melodies? <laughs> 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 <laughs>